Today I should be doing 74 math equations, but I don't want to. So we're following a Bob Ross tutorial. No, fuck off. I like my paintings to have a tiny frame. So I'm putting a uh, tape on the outside parts. There we go. Slow and steady wins the race. Or does it? This is like not stable at all. I just spent around 10 minutes looking for this shit because I don't... Okay, I don't have any of the specific colors or brushes or tools that he's using so we're just gonna... we're just gonna live with it I don't have water... Do I need water? I probably need water I don't have... No, ha, ha. The painting I have decided to do is called Bridge to Autumn. So, let's just take old two inch brush and start off here and have a little fun. I'll start with a little touch of the bright red, oh, a little yellow ochre, maybe a little cad yellow, all mixed together. Something like so. Also, he has like a big two inch brush and I don't have that, so I'm gonna use this weird sponge thing. Let's go up in here and very lightly just put in a quick little sky. A little sky and that was sort of a sort of an orangey yellowish color. Just a very nice color. Okay, there goes nothing. We're just gonna start from <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, we're just gonna start from a corner. And uh, yeah, it's like not gonna work. That's fine. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> I just feel like I need water. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. There we go. Yeah, okay, there we go. A little water. Oh, okay. Oh no, oh no, it's dripping. Help, 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 help. Oh no, oh no. Okay. It's fine, it's cool. We can use more water. Why do I keep using the water if it's a bad idea? Basically, all we did here to make all the little background trees, I'm just using the same old dirty brush, it doesn't matter. Tap in a little bit of color, this brown color. And you just, you just decide basically where you want to start and off you go. Maybe there's a happy little tree that lives right there. And all we're looking for is just very, very basic shapes. Okay, not gonna work, not gonna work. Ah, uh, okay, I think I'm just gonna... I am changing into a normal brush because this shit does not work. Okay, that's not a tree, but it looks better. Okay, this is how it looks from up close. And you just sort of look around and pick out places you think there would be little trunks and stems and limbs and all those things Peapod and all my little friends play on out here. There. Just put in a few little indications. Wherever, wherever. It's up to you. It's totally and completely up to you. Oh no, that's scary. My trees aren't the type of trees that have stuff. few little trees and bushes that are a little closer, a little darker, just to help push everything back, create that illusion of distance. There, we just let them 
fade off. We don't care where they go over there. Oh no, oh god, okay. Here goes. That is way too dark. That is way too dark. Okay, time for a close up. I think I ruined it. <laughs> We're gonna have water in this painting. The bridge covers up. We'll take that same color, black, and that brown we made, and just pull it straight down. Straight down, straight down. It's important that it goes straight down. There. We don't care where it goes here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because as you know, we don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents in our world. Ah, uh, okay. What? How do I do that? Okay. Why is it like that? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. The water is black now. That is not good for the environment. Okay. Now try this. I know sometimes these little buildings are sort of hard to do. Does that make sense? Just lay out the basic shape of the buildings. All right. Let's take a little of that brown we made. See, okay. Now here's our bridge. Just like building a cabin. Only it's got a, a huge door in front. I'm using a little Van Dyke brown here and there. I want a darker brown. All right, now decide where the entrance is. Use a little Van Dyke. See there? That's all there is to it. Oh, there's two. It looks like it has fur. I think. <sighs> I'm trying to make it like more detailed so it doesn't look so ugly. I don't even. What? I. Uh... Wait, what am I doing again? How far is it supposed to go? I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but it also looks bad. And off you go. Just make layers and layers and layers. Isn't that neat? <laughs> you can do that. This little, little bush right here, he needs some gooders on him too. See, that's all you need. Just to make him stand out as an individual. Maybe there's a little recessed area right in there. See, that little bush now has his own home. You don't have to be crazy to do this, but it helps. With a little practice, though, you'll begin to you'll begin to see things in your painting. Okay, so I've added a couple of details to this like road thing. I even made a tiny tiny bush, and honestly, it's like not that bad. Maybe, I mean, it sucks tremendously, but it's like, it could be worse. No, this is what I didn't want to happen. Anyway, ooh, satisfying. So here's the actual finished thing. Now it's all dry and nice and I took off the tape. And I mean, honestly, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's kind of good. I'm happy with this. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I give this experience a 10 out of 10. Okay, um, yeah, thanks for watching. This was pretty cool. I feel like I've been doing this for half a day, which I probably have. But yeah, thanks for like coming on this journey with me. Also, sorry for not uploading for like half a year. Um, yeah, I don't have an excuse. Have a nice day, drink some tea, eat a cookie, hug your pet, and just have a cool day. Bye-bye.